Hi, good morning. I'm going to take you through the process of uh, installing Maya 2016, which is not entirely intuitive and uh, seems to be quite tricky if you haven't been through the process before and know what to expect. Um, so quick thing about Maya, uh, Autodesk's Maya. If you have a student's email from any university or college, you get you can get free access to the software for three years. And that's per license, so that's you know access to 2015 for three years, access to Maya 2016 for three years. Um, it's, it's a fantastic uh, opportunity. So, and this, it doesn't matter where you're studying, like I'm, uh, I'm doing a master's at University of Newcastle right now, and what we're studying is primarily web stuff, and who cares? I can still get a license for Maya. Um, of course, like I've obviously got one from my teacher account, have been a, a, an online teacher of an SAE. Um, so whether, the, whether you're a teacher or a student, you get access to the software. And if you're not a teacher or a student, um, the Maya Lite subscription fee is fairly affordable. And Maya Lite will give you pretty much most of what you need from the program. Um, the only thing you don't get is stuff like um, being able to render across many, 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 many different computers. This is kind of stuff that uh, huge production houses with 100 to 500 people have. So if you're just an individual working on your own, you do not need the full version of Maya. You know, the one that costs like thousands of dollars. Just get Maya Lite. It will give you pretty much everything you need. Um, okay, so let's install some stuff after I take a sip of tea. <sighs> Thank you for your patience. Okay. So, um, this is this is so silly that honestly the best way I do the way I do this every time is I just go to Google and I type free Autodesk student license and uh, there it is free student software downloads Autodesk education community click on that and if I expand that tab you see uh, they list pretty much every product that is part of the Autodesk suite and when you sign up for an account you get access to every product that's part of the Autodesk suite which is just cool. Um, so, uh, sign in. You've got your sign in option up here in the upper right hand corner of the window. And the one we want is Autodesk account includes all subscriptions. And if I click on that, what the reason why Autodesk account is so good is because it's also going to keep track of all the uh, service packs and updates for that software. Okay, uh, after, underneath sign in, you've got this little create account option. And this is like the most standard create an account form ever. So I'm going to pause the video, create my account using my um, University of Newcastle email, and uh, then go through authorization and all that fun jazz. Okay, so I went and created my account. And of course, I've got this little verify your Autodesk account email has shown up. Um, and y'all totally should be used to this kind of thing by now. You just click verify email. And Ah, account verified. That's so exciting. So once your account's verified, um, you get taken. So when you're logged in, this is what you see. You see all products and services. Um, now to start with, it's got like these six products and services, which are just kind of like, well, whatever. Um, but let's actually go find, let's go back and find that software we want. So I'm going to be kind of cheeky and just go free Autodesk student license again, because I want to go back to that software page and I don't really want to hunt through the Autodesk site to find it. Um, scroll down to Maya. Now Maya extension, it's like, uh, it's like a, just another version of Maya that's been added onto. Um, I'm not going to go Maya extension just yet because they don't have support for mental ray in the Maya 2016 extension. And for the time being, I still do a lot of my rendering with Mental Ray. Um, so I'm just gonna go Maya. And I have an account because I just verified it. So just, I went pretty quickly there. Uh, you've got this sign in option and create account option. I'll go sign in. And dun, 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 dun. you can see my email there. So if you have any questions about Maya, just send me an email. Cool. Set up an educational profile. I'm in Australia, which is a very cool country. 
Oh, this is so funny. I'm actually a student. Oh, I've never really been a student before. I started teaching before I was ever a student. Um, it just happens when you spend, when you're actually, you know, like, in the industry for a heap of time. I'm gonna pause the video so you don't see how old I am. There's a lot of gray hair under the dye. I can tell you that much. Okay. Now that the age thing is out of the way. Um, it's gonna ask you, uh, where do you go to school? And if you just start typing the name of the school, you should be able to see it there. Um, yeah, media and entertainment probably works. Enrolled from, uh, I think I was enrolled like January this year. Uh, that's going to take me probably a long ass time to finish that because I'm doing it part time while I work full time with another part time job, which is just crazy. Cool. My education account is all set. Thanks, Autodesk. Yes, I agree to all your terms and conditions, whatever those mysterious terms and conditions may be. Now, yay, I can finally set up and download Maya. So, selecting a version. Um, there's a whole bunch of versions here. The reason why we're going with Maya 2016 right now is it has the most service packs, which are you know updates for the program available. It has Mental Ray available. Um, they've worked out most of the bugs since launch. Maya 2014 and Maya 2015, uh, Autodesk starts not supporting some of the old software pretty quickly. Um, and it's very difficult to find all the service packs you need and mental, all that stuff to be able to actually use a program. I'm not going for Maya 2017 yet because whenever, sorry, Autodesk, whenever Autodesk launches a new product, it tends to be heaps buggy until the service packs start rolling out. So I like to just not use it for a year or two until all the service packs are there. Um, and there's not a huge difference between the years. Like the biggest difference has been between 2015 and 2016. 2016 completely rewrote the program pretty much. Um, so definitely go 2016. Um, Windows. Okay, so here's where this start stuff starts to get really fun. Um, You've got this install now button and you could just click that and it will go through a process of installing a, an Autodesk installer and then you install Maya from the Autodesk installer. But there's also this little um, upside down arrow here, which is not, you know, not a huge indicator as to what's going on. If I click on that upside down arrow, I actually have quite a few more install buttons. So install now um, requires a very good web connection. Uh, if you don't have a great web connection, if it drops in and out, uh, your install will fail and if your install like if your install fails it might actually frack with future installs if you download now you are going to download the full installer and it will run locally instead of over the cloud um, whereas browser download is that's like actually just downloading the exe and then you you unpack it like you would most other software um, I do recommend going install now if you can but if you're if you're at all nervous about the Autodesk installer kind of crapping itself, uh, just go browser download. Um, so you click install now, and you basically follow the prompts. So once again, I'll pause this here, uh, because as you can see, I already have my 2016 installed on my computer. Um, but definitely go through, click install now, see if it works. If it doesn't work, try download now. If that doesn't work, try browser download. Um, and if you uh, run into any problems, just like comment below uh, and maybe we'll try and find a solution for you. Okay, so I'll pause the video and I'll come back and we'll talk about service packs. Okay, so uh, once you have Maya installed and it's gone through the whole process of giving you a license and you have a, you have a serial number and a product key, you put that in Maya, blah, 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 you go through the whole process. Next time you log in and you might have to like log out and log back into your Autodesk account. Um, this time we're going to stay on this all products and services page because if we scroll down to Maya, uh, I'll just expand that little drop down. Um, we've got this option called updates and add-ons. You so want to do this. So go to updates and add-ons and you will find stuff like Maya 2016 extension one for Windows. Yes, this is a good thing. You want that. 
Um, uh, you've got Autodesk 2016 Service Pack 6. You absolutely want Service Pack 6. Uh, you have Mental Ray plugin for Autodesk uh, Maya. You definitely want that. Um, yeah, go for the plugin because the plugin you can load into Maya um, and just operate it directly from Maya. So after you've installed Maya, install your extensions, install your service pack. Oh my God, install your service pack um, and install Maya. Uh, and that's just like all, you click the little browser download button and you go through the process of et cetera, et cetera. Um, okay, the last thing I'll show you is just once you've installed all of that stuff, how to make sure mental ray is actually loaded up um and then that's it you should have hopefully have been able to install maya 2016 and if not again just comment below and uh, we'll see what we can do to help um okay so to get uh, mental ray loaded up you're just going to go under windows settings and preferences and at the very bottom you've got the plugin manager because mental ray is a plugin and um it's, it's not the best naming. Uh, so you scroll all the way down until you see Maya 2 MR. So Maya 2 Mental Ray. And you want to make sure, like, so if you've installed Mental Ray, you'll see this. If you haven't installed Mental Ray, you won't see it. So if you don't see it, install Mental Ray. Um, so I have installed Mental Ray, and you want to make sure that it's uh, ticked as loaded and auto load so that every time Maya loads up, it loads that plug plugin. And if I want to make sure I'm using Mental Ray, um, I go up to here to display render and use the, render using uh, Mental Ray. And what all the different renderers do is for another lecture. So um, enjoy Maya 2016. The install process may be a bit different if you're paying for a license, but um, it shouldn't be if they've done their, their UX correctly. Uh, so um, ciao comment, say hi, let us know how you're going, and goodbye, have a good day.